anyone yeah. that arrives here will, uh, as we've always done, have your temperature taken and ha sanitise your hands. Um, and wearing a face mask, obviously all our guys here will be wearing the appropriate PPE. We've got our screens up. We're going to give them all another. The whole place is having a really good um, clean, even though it's been sat here empty for three months. But we will do, we're doing a really thorough refresh of the whole place um and i and i hope that everybody that comes to us will feel happy and safe to be here in fact we've opened uh we opened up this morning just for um taking telephone and email appointments and um it's quite funny because the phone just has not stopped and there is so much excitement from our customers they just cannot wait to come in and i think we all feel like that we just want some normality and and uh we all want to get our hair done, we all want to get our nails done, and there's a lot of hair to be removed, not just on our heads, I'll add. <laughs> well, I feel really excited. I mean, I think Saffron is such a resilient town, and, and um, I know there's a lot of comment about different empty shops and things, but if you start looking around town now, there's all sorts of um, uh, places that have been let, there's new businesses coming, there's old businesses reopening. Um, I feel really positive. You, you've only got to walk around town and speak to everyone. They, they, people who live here love it, and um, I don't think we'll have a, I don't think we'll have a problem um, picking up where we all left off. And and I hope that those people that live locally or visit, you know, carry on and appreciate what they've got here and keep spending their money in town because that really is going to make all the difference. Lots of us have done all we can to do bits and pieces online, but that just you know that doesn't cut it with a business like this as other hairdressers and beauticians all all know um but i think saffron warden is, is i mean it's already buzzing and you can tell that by the number of calls we get and emails the people are desperate to come back out and we're really looking forward to seeing them all